Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday, the day after the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And if you weren't in church or you didn't watch the live stream of our service on Sunday, I really encourage you to do so. It was a real highlight service here and uh, very powerful. And again, I encourage you to go to YouTube uh, and uh, look us up. So I wanted to share this morning a a prayer that Dr. King wrote um, for for us. So let's pray. Most gracious and all wise God, before whose face the generations rise and fall, thou in whom we live and move and have our being, we thank thee for all thy good and gracious gifts, for life and for health, for food and for raiment, for the beauties of nature and the love of human nature. We come before thee painfully aware of our inadequacies and shortcomings. We realize that we stand surrounded with the mountains of love and that we deliberately dwell in the valley of hate. We stand amid the forces of truth and deliberately lie. We are, are forever offered the high road and yet we choose the low road to travel. Forgive these sins, O God. Break the, sp the spell which binds our minds. Purify our hearts that we may see thee. O God of these turbulent days when fear and doubt are mounting high, give us broad visions, penetrating eyes, and a power of endurance. Help us to work with renewed vigor for a warless world, for a better distribution of wealth, and for our brother and sisterhood that transcends race or color. In the name and spirit of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let this be our prayer for today. Have a grateful one.